What the hell is he doing? Hey, what's up, y'all? It's D. About to react to this video by YooHoo22. This is comedians on morning TV. Awkward and hilarious. Um, this will be interesting to see comedians get all awkward because their whole career is supposed to be them being charismatic and like working the crowd and you're supposed to be able to talk to people easily and all that. So for them to kind of clam up, like this will be interesting to watch. So let's see what comedians are on this list. Let's watch. Okay. But you and I should do a movie, Rush Hour 4. Oh, fine. <laughs> if we're going to go race up, I get to be, I get Rush to be Hour 4 in space. I get to be Chris. It's going to be wonderful, right? Chris, Chris You're not going to drop. We wrote you out of the script. I'm Jewish. Uh, you you are? find a place oh. for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you can do all, you can produce it. Oh, this is <laughs> awkward as fuck. I'll be your agent. I'll be your agent so you get it all worked out. Yes, I am. So I'm glad that you're here in Texas yeah. for a brief time that the weather's going to be 70 degrees. Oh, it's perfect. This is like the golden age of uh, global warming. <laughs> right before the polar ice caps melt and we all drown. you got to enjoy these 70 degree uh, January days. They're awesome. Enjoy them while you can get them. That's right. You know, I was reading a little bit about you and it says that you have a tendency to kind of go with your first thought. Yeah. Because reading makes you sleepy. That's right. My first thought is this is the best week to be here, the week before the Super Bowl. That is so true. Before all the whores fly in, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. I just want to get out. Wow. <laughs> I just want to get out of here before that. But it's true. This is like the Oscars uh, for oh. prostitutes. Okay, all right. This well, entire well, week. What's your name here, All right, so we're going to go back to a safer subject. Because what am I saying? That I'm was not fucking with it. I'm wearing. These things are redundant. I'm superficial. Okay. You know, I'm being distracted. What do you think that gesture means, the way you're touching that bowl? What does that indicate? <laughs> what is that? What's the subtext of that? He is you crazy. Mean, is that ring, Mika? Is that I like him, though. He's you. funny. Oh. Look, she like, let me drink something else. She's a sharp grasper. You did CrossFit, you did say. Watch his shirt off. What'd you do, what you do with CrossFit? I don't know. We might get in trouble if I say this. I called the guy black. I don't know if you can say that. He's black. Yeah. But I said, hey, the black guy's cheating. Why are you can't like, say that? I can't say that. I was like, why? I don't know his name. And they're like, yeah, his name's Wendell. I go, oh, okay. Hey, Wendell. The gay guy says, I can't call you the black guy. <laughs> you're not doing all your burpees. Oh, my God. I'm sure we can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was. No, that was so stupid. You, you can't well, say that. You were the only that. person yeah. ever in, in, the, in my career here yeah. to get that close to my face. He's the only person I've ever let get that close to married? my face. To, no, so does that mean it doesn't matter then? Yes, it's, yes, we all. It's yes. not working out though, is it? Uh, it no. doesn't feel like it is. No. Yeah. This is so like awkward. Why do I get so awkward around him? Yeah, so How's yours going? Really good. Really? Yeah. How long have you been together? Four years. And it's strong. It's really strong. It's strong. And she's way better than you. <laughs> so your Christian oh. background is is part of the, the show. Yes, you, and I wanted episode. to talk to you about Jesus after this. Well, I, <laughs> not, the only thing I want to bring it up is some people thought really? maybe you went a little too far. You know. As far you, as what? Well, they thought that maybe you were being disrespectful to the Christian religion. Okay. So, I'm telling you, you, you need to give go a back. <laughs> oh, good lord! So, okay, did you that's, feel that's you were being stuff. disrespectful, or just you—you you were just having fun with some of the crucifixes and stuff like that? I don't even know what you, I mean. We did maybe two jokes was, about that. Yeah, exactly. Don't you think the Catholic Church went a little too far? <laughs> <laughs> more so than my cartoon. Right, listen, <laughs> full of jokes. I know this is a morning show. You can't bring up all those crimes. You know what? Technically, they just, they yeah. just sort of kept moving them around. You know, like those killer whales at SeaWorld. After it kills a trainer, they'll then move it up to Seattle. They don't give them their background. I am not totally following, <laughs> but uh, I don't think you know I want what I'm to. talking about. It's a morning show. I understand. Right. Daytime. Thanks. I thought there was a writer's strike. Hey, he makes them so me. uncomfortable. I was a wardrobe and makeup people out crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I dated a girl that was so dumb one time. She was literally the dumbest chick. She was afraid to eat pizza alone. She was afraid she'd choke and no one would be there. <laughs> but yeah, but that's not why that's not what made her dumb. She literally asked me one time, she goes, She's gonna be a flight attendant? She goes, Does the the Concord, does that go to the speed of sound or the speed of light? And I was oh, like, no. I think you're thinking of the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, wait, so wait, when they when they drive, can they not hear anything? I was like, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's they awesome. go in a plane where they all have chalkboards around their neck. They're like, I need a darn call. I mean, you're a man. So, Kristen, uh, ask me, please. Are can there, I touch your legs? Because they're so nice. Are there, Don't touch mine. Are there comedians? <laughs> wow, wow, bumpy. <laughs> Real bumpy. I didn't shave. He is rude. I wanted to keep you off. You're on television, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Larry, you're looking good, baby. You're looking good. He don't give a you fuck. Know, that's right. During the commercial, somebody told me Larry loves Duran Duran. This is yet another fact about Larry that is boring, boring. Yeah. <laughs> Larry, he did not like that joke. To lose that Boston accent, yeah, right? Yeah. Too bad you can't lose the face, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So I want to give you a little quiz, You're a little awkward. tester, right? Because oh, you can't look at my script. But okay. there are some very famous cereal box icons. Yes, and are. I want you to be able to look at some of these characters and see if you can determine which cereal it's associated with. If you get it okay. right, you'll hear this. Oh. If you get it wrong, you'll hear this. Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> okay, let's look at our first one. You're going to see the monitor down here. Let's look at our first one. Okay. Oh, it's behind us. Sorry about that. Oh, it's behind us. Yes. Who's that? It's What's my he uncle. No, it's not. <laughs> Although you do resemble him. <laughs> I mean, Who is that? that is, uh, for redheads, that is a racist uh, symbol right there. That's like the uh, the, 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 the Quaker mix guy. The no, that's the, the uh, Lucky Charms. Bam, look at that. Quaker Good mix guy. Okay, I didn't drink last night. All right, this guy. Can you see him? Quaker. Yeah, that's the, uh, oh, that's one of the founding fathers. <laughs> who said that all men are created equal as long as they're white. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that what it is? One of those guys? I've done everything there is to do How? in the world. I've ever had a bucket list, I've done it all. Jumped out of a plane with Rachel Ray, fought a bear. I was the first person to jump off the stratosphere, jumped off the world's tallest stadium in Africa. You name it. Travel channel. Yeah. The fighting bear was the dumbest thing I ever did. I would never do that again. You can't. How do you prepare that mentally? How do you prepare that? Uh, oh, I want to be famous. <laughs> Val, Val, what can I say? You make traffic. They doing it. They in the cup. Uh, in fact, I think I feel some rubbernecking in my pants right now. <laughs> Stop. I hate this segment. Like, stop. Speaking of traffic, uh, Val, I think I see an accident on top of Robin's head. <laughs> Their laughing is so fake and awkward. Uh, it's for perimenopausal women. I think they look at me and they're like, they're like, oh, that guy wouldn't cheat on me. That looks good. You're safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safe, that's, yeah, that's a guy. He's got a life insurance policy. <laughs> He'll be dead in 10 years. I can live out my dreams with a young Spanish boy. <laughs> it's hard out of I, I, got a, I got a heavy foot. There's a real stream of consciousness thing happening here, Norm. Yeah, it's called conversation. <laughs> <laughs> The website for the Travel Channel calls you Professional Fun Seeker. <laughs> Their website sucks. <laughs> I love Travel Channel, but they're horrible. <laughs> on the internet. They're, they're so bad. They're the greatest people, but man, they're horrible. <laughs> Huh? You know, you're in pretty good no. shape. But, but why <laughs> respond to somebody who's being negative to you on, on Twitter? Because it's fun. Well, yeah. you can see him on the travel <laughs> channel. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I think my shows are sold out. I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. This dude is doing the fucking love. Is that somebody told me if a bear ever attacks you, all you have to do is pinch his nipples? Is this true? Or did you not know that? Do you know, first of all, okay, I never mind. You know, I no, feel no, like no, 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 that is the most brilliant thing in the world. Sorry for, you have the softest skin. Thank you. That's the I have hashtag really soft skin. Feel Okay, it. so feel it right there. 444 zero, 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 right zero, 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 eight. And we're going to come it. see you in the sun. like, nah, Thank you for coming by. I can't believe this is our first time meeting. I couldn't imagine our next time. Nice to see you. Because you were on paternity leave last time, right? Oh, shit. Fuck with you. Oh, I love it. I lived in Europe for a while. That's how we can. She is so freaked <laughs> out. I'm sitting oh, over there. I love this morning show. It's my favorite. <laughs> I apologize. He gonna do it again. Do it again. I like to plug some things. <laughs> I'm just fine. Just look at me right now. All right, we're on a TV show right now. Um, I'm at the American Comedy Company. I'm at the American Comedy Company all weekend. Okay, and I know you're gonna be there. And number two, I like to promote my podcast. It's called Tiger Belly. And number three, is crazy I'm in a show him. called Love that Judd Apatow produces. It's on Love Netflix. Judd. And I play a guy named Truman, and we did the second season, so it's gonna be great. Mm, that was gonna be great. What the hell is he doing? And uh, 
God, those ankles are so appetizing. He is high. I'm convinced. I just want to kiss your ass. She, <laughs> she is, is so weird. creeped it's out. It's, 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 it's called it's the love seat for a reason, Bobby. Listen, hey, now. listen, guys. Yes. Whenever I play San Diego only to do this show. American comedy <laughs> confident in the gas lamp quarter. I got my ankle bone kissed by Bobby Lee. Why are you looking at me? Why are you uh, looking at me? Why are you staring at me? Chrissy, why are you staring at me? Chrissy! Oh my ah. gosh. In all the years that I've done interviews. Girl, you smell pure. You <laughs> <laughs> smell so pure, bro. My lord. That's the magic oh of that perfume, huh? Oh my lord, that's delicious. It's great. Oh my god. This nigga like high out of his mind. Yeah, he's high. Like, he was tripping out with everybody he was around. He made everybody super uncomfortable. Bill made people really uncomfortable, too. But honestly, in interviews, I feel like Bill seems like a likable guy, honestly. He comes across like, like he's super relaxed. I don't know. But, you know, whatever. I guess his persona on stage may be different than how he actually is. But, yeah, this was a cool video. Definitely were some awkward moments for sure. Like, this was super awkward. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!